Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how I made this holographic effect for my Halloween decoration. Stay tuned. So today we're going to be making a Halloween decoration. I got some 1x2s here. These will be the upper frame as well as some 2x3s, a little bit more weight on the bottom of the frame when I make my hologram Halloween decoration. I also got a couple pumpkins here. But those are for another video. Hello everyone, uh, we got our materials at Home Depot, now it's time to record the video for the hologram. Uh, I'm setting up the green screen right now, you take a look here, you can see the frame for the green screen is all set up. Now this is Boomer, he will be trying to climb the green screen later. Right Boomer? Alright, here we have our lighting. And we have our camera. We also have a few extra lights here. Those are aimed at the wall for a little bit of a softer lighting. We don't want any shadows on the face when we record the green screen. Also, uh, we had some of the material come in for the mesh netting. This is what we'll be projecting. See that? That's what we'll be projecting onto. So, we'll get to that later when we're building the frame. All right, I got the costume on, set up the green screen, ready to start filming. See here, we got all the lighting, got the camera set up right there. And this is how you make a hologram. One thing you should consider is that fake blood gets all over the place. Fake blood all over the place. When my roommates come home, they might be a little bit suspicious. Now it's time to pace back and forth. Make sure you stay in the camera frame or else you'll be cut out when you actually build the hologram. And keep in mind that if you put your arms in the air, they're gonna be out of the frame you stand over here, you'll be out of the frame. And you're going to want to do this for at least a couple minutes. That way, when people are looking at the hologram, it doesn't just keep repeating and looping quickly. I like to do a few um, moves and stuff. <laughs> Some sweet moves. Uh, and that's what's going to give you the best hologram. Now we're going to edit the video in Adobe After Effects. So you can see here I started the program. Uh, you can drag and drop the green screen video of yourself into the field over here and that'll import it into the project. Drag that over to the composition, it'll create a new composition. Uh, fast forward to somewhere where you're on the screen and you can crop out the parts where you're not in the video. 
open key light. That's the effect that you're going to use to remove the green screen. Hit the eyedropper, click over there. You'll notice there's some bright spots still there, so you can tweak the gain and balance so you come to a good point where only you are visible with an all black background. Now, the black background, obviously, when you're projecting, will just disappear into the mesh. Tweak those a little bit more, get it dialed in, and you can see now. I'm not going to rotate the video because I'm going to turn the projector when I actually finalize this product. That way you can see me standing at my normal height. I didn't record a lot throughout the entire construction process. Uh, I probably should have set up a time lapse, but anyways, here's the final product. You can see there I painted the wood black. That way at night you won't see any frame that will add to the effect. Uh, you can see I stretched the mesh really tight. Uh, as long as it's stretched tight and evenly distributed, you won't see it when the projector's on at night. I made the frame vertical, uh, which means I'm going to have to turn the projector 90 degrees so that it shows me at full size um, actual height. All ready to do the hologram. Here's the setup. We got the laptop, projector, we're going to set up the screen right there, and then you'll see the hologram in the front door. As you can see, the hologram's up and running. That's the frame built. Then you can see the control center in the back. Once it gets darker, it'll obviously be a lot brighter. As you can see, the effect is much brighter. Uh, even as I walk towards the camera, you almost get kind of a 3D effect because of the focus. And here it is again from a little bit further away. One thing to keep in mind is that if the projector is too bright, it will shine through the mesh. Uh, you'll see here momentarily what I mean. So you may have to adjust the settings on the projector. Uh, maybe set the brightness down, adjust the contrast. It takes some fiddling to get it complete. You can see here on my neighbor's tree with the brightness all the way up I create a much taller hologram well that's it I hope you guys enjoyed everything um, yeah send me a message if you have any questions